Welcome guys, episode two of the BSB show, uh, the talk show where we discuss all the latest of um, entertainment news, political news, uh, sports news, all your burning questions that you've got, you can throw them at us as well. And um, yeah, we're just going to sit here, we're going to have a little chat chat today, we've got a few questions, we've got a few juicy questions, that's my phone going off, soz. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we've got Kenny. Hey, what's up? Uh, we've got Mr. Mr. Funk, Mr. Gentle Funk. What's going on? And we've also got Kevin joining us. <laughs> and if you don't know, my name's Aaron. So, um, yeah, the, the first topic of the day is obviously Brazil. Like, last night's... <laughs> last night, I don't even know what you call that. Like, massacre. 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 I think that uh, the, what's happened is wrong. It's wrong to show... Uh, 11 grown men being raped like the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was traumatic for the children that were up to watch yeah. that. Not even past what was going oh, on. It was, yeah. it was traumatic <laughs> for all of us, man, and we shouldn't have seen that. That was just, they just all got destroyed. Oh, yeah. boy, I was, I, was, I, was, I was about to put on Pornhub and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this is juicy, I want this. Might as well watch this. <laughs> I'm pissed, so, yeah. I'm pissed because what's happened is that I'll, I'll put my son to bed, you get me? So I'm, I'm reading a bedtime story. I come down here and it's like 4 0. No, no, what is going on here? Seriously. It's, to me, I was watching, I was, I was watching, I saw the first goal, okay, okay, fine, no. Brazil will come back. Then the second one came in, and then as you're trying to recover from the dad, then the third one comes in, and then the fourth one comes in. And I'm thinking to myself, what? I was looking at my rest of the and said, what the heck is going on? What's happening here? What is going on here? But I personally think that somebody got paid a handsome amount because I don't think, as much as okay, fine, they're saying that the captain is not, couldn't play and the other guy got injured. It is not, in my opinion, when I see the, one, the way the other guys play, I don't think it's, too, it's realistic that. That would have happened without any foul play behind the scenes. See, it's see, too much. A lot of people have said that oh, um, it was rigged or match fixing and all that kind of stuff, but I think that. I just thought they were caught off guard. I mean, after the third goal, they were probably like, what is going on? They were so shocked they didn't know how to yeah, play. Because yeah. I was flicking through channels. I forgot Tohi was match. <coughs> uh, five minutes in, I, I saw it, started watching it. Okay. Brazil is playing, this is going to be a high scoring game. Mm. High scoring game. I was waiting for some quality plays. 11 minutes, first goal. I was like, cool. Brazil's going to come back. Neymar, I, I took my point to you. Can you play for your star? Can you play for Neymar? And then by the time I finished, second goal, 22 minutes in. I was like, okay, if they keep this up, a goal every 11 minutes, eight goals in the match. <laughs> and then, like, third goal, two minutes later, I was like, what's going on? And the guys are like, to me, it looks like as though they were playing against school children mm -hmm. and just letting them run past the ball. Like, okay, he passed and just tap it in the goal. I mean, after the fifth, fifth one, like in like 29 minutes, the last four of them, like six minutes, I was like, something is wrong here. Something is totally wrong here. Like, yeah. And statistically, I don't think Brazil has won on that field in like years. So it has to be some sort of bad luck or, or something, but I think, I that think was a it was, it was, it was, it was bad luck. It was, I mean, was I awesome think luck. that a lot of people, we're kind of, we're, we're hung up on Brazil of like, yeah, Brazil 2004, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. old Brazil, like Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Brazil, like, or their, their legendary... But it doesn't help if they've got a striker called Fred. Come what did he do in the game? <laughs> the man's just... Nick has been man. Seriously, yeah. in the Brazil. I, just think, I just think Brazil are not the team that they once was. Like, and we need to start realizing that this Brazil is not the it's same not Brazil. Brazil. Like, they're they're not gonna just walk over. They're not gonna stomp on other teams how they used to. Do you know what I mean? Like, Germany scored one goal against the States, who was meant to be considered one of the crappiest teams. Yeah, yeah. But Brazil, seven goals against Brazil. Nigeria, man, be there now, but oh, man, this one went out like jeez, man. We went on like G's <laughs> with a head held eye. Right, question here. Yeah. Do you think the England team would have beat Brazil? They would have got smashed, the England team. Let's just England's team. England team. I don't think they could beat Brazil. I think that they would have not have been embarrassed. Have been embarrassed. I don't know. I can't even think of any team, other team, that, would have, that has been embarrassed like that. I mean, the worst in case, you know, was it, was it Cameroon that got beaten 4 0 by. I don't know which country beat them 4 0 when Cameroon played. But. 
Even if that's not really bad because you know you, Cameroon hasn't really done well so far recently. Yeah. So I, you know, it's not. I, 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 they, they played, they played, they played themselves well, but it wasn't as bad as this. Mm-hmm. I don't think England is as you know as much as England. I don't really support England. In the England didn't even win one game, so, so you obviously don't, you don't think they could have taken. No, I don't think they would have taken because, because if course. you think about it, I mean Brazil, they they won one game on penalties. The other game they kind of scraped through. Their first game was kind of. Mm. They didn't. They didn't play that. They didn't but play that great, like at all. But would it would it have been a different story if Neymar was on the pitch? That's the problem. Neymar and Silva. Do you think it would be a different story? They, I think it would have been. They probably would have got more goals, but their defense was just crap. Yeah, yeah. they didn't stop anything. It, it takes a team. I think I could see. Even when they were scoring the goals, I could see the defense being open before the goals came in. The defense was just wide open. There was no cohesive. You know, there's no tightness. You know, in the defense. There. You know, if, if after the third goal, they want the shooters to go somewhere to defend it, mm. yeah. and then maybe you need to regroup. Yeah, regroup yeah. yeah. and then go from there. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, in conclusion, Brazil have lost their swag, but they'd still beat England. Standard. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on. The Barbershop Banter Show is brought to you by Sheer and Shine professional barbering, men's skincare, and sports and therapeutic massage. Give us a call or book online today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join us on all of our social media channels, it's all below.